Now, India's largest automobile show, the Auto Expo 2020, has kicked off in Greater Noida. Electric vehicles and SUVs have hawked the limelight on day one, but fears over the coronavirus have kept the Chinese delegation away from the expo this year. However, Chinese manufacturing companies are present with their Indian colleagues in attendance. Parish Lutra has been at that event and is joining us now with a wrap of day one of the auto show. Parish. Well, lots of launchers, lots of SUVs, electric vehicles at the Auto Expo. And uh, those are really the key takeaways. If you look at uh, Tata Motors, it had the highest number of vehicle showcases here. Uh, 26 product showcases, four global unveils. The Tata Wenga, the HPX concept, the Tata Sierra EV concept, uh, Tata Gravitas, that was showcased, that will that be launched later this year. Uh, the Harrier 2020 was formally launched today as well. Mahindra, not far behind, they showcased about 18 vehicles. The, the Funster concept was unveiled. They had the Atom electric vehicle, the EKU 100 was launched. It's a sub-9 lakh uh, uh, electric vehicle that Mahindra has launched, the EXUV 300. Uh, so quite a big electric lineup from Mahindra as well. They also showcased their BS6 range of diesel engines and petrol engines as well. Maruti Suzuki showcased the Futuro E electric concept and the Swift hybrid as well. Uh, so a couple of takeaways. Most OEMs today feel that uh, the budget has uh, will not do much for the sentiment in the auto industry, which has been going through a slowdown for over 14 months now. They all say that the next six to seven months will be very, very tentative and any growth uh, can really come up uh, uh, in the second half of uh, next fiscal. Uh, having said that, they also feel that the hike in customs duty in the budget may lead to an increase in prices and many of the OEMs are studying this possibility. You spoke about coronavirus. Yes, this was a major concern here. We are seeing a lot of people wearing masks. Uh, several of these uh, companies are distributing masks at their stalls as well. Today is a media day, so we really can't judge the footfalls as such. But uh, at the same time, we can confirm to our viewers that uh, a hundred member Chinese delegation had to be cancelled. There are no Chinese visitors at the Auto Expo and the organizers have sent that message out as well. We are